Yo, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gemin. And it's your girl, Fee. And we're doing a recent reads on the Berserk Deluxe Edition by Dark Horse, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so I uh, recently did a review on the first trade paperback, the first volume of Berserk. This is the Deluxe Edition, which sold out, like, really quick, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and this collects the first three volumes of Berserk. You read these uh, before me, so I, I just finished yesterday. I, I did it in two sittings. Like, I read volume one. Again. Yeah, the first one I read in one shot, and then when I this one, I didn't even bother with the first one. I started at volume two. So I didn't do that. So I went back, I read volume one in here in one day, and then the next day, boom, I knocked out two and three. This is a sick book. It is twisted. Yeah, when it ended, I was like, where are the next issues? I'm ready. So they're out there already, but as far as collecting in uh, these books, I think they're going to make three a year. I love these little compact... Uh, I love the uh, texture. Oh, it's very big to me. I mean, compared to like the big omnibus that are oh, super oh, okay. big. Oh, okay. Well, I'm thinking of like the original. I just book. love, and I love how it's like lightweight, and the pages are paper, and not like heavy gloss. These are awesome books, man. I can't wait. I think there's going to be like 13 volumes, so we're gonna. I felt like when I was reading it that it was like going backwards. Like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they read right to left, like uh, the trade paperbacks do, and the panels you got to read opposite. So. It's a disturbing book, man. I can see why people were like, yo, you're not going to be the same after reading this book. And I, I can start to see I think why. I I was kind of the same before. <laughs> you were already <laughs> sick of it. But uh, Berserk is a manga. I guess it's the first traditional manga that I've read. First for you, for sure. Oh, yeah. I've read Usagi Ojimbo, but that's like an American manga. So um, what do you think about the format compared to like comics? Uh... Really, the black and white was hard for me because I was had it? a hard time discerning like the different frames for each other because sometimes it'll like spread down on the side. Like, <clears throat> right. But I, I mean, it was okay. It was cool. Getting the hang of reading it backwards was a little like I had to like really think about it. Like I'm going this way. I think a lot of our viewers uh, have the same concerns about black and white. Personally, if it's good enough, I don't even notice after a while. It's kind of oh, like, no. After a while, you get like yeah, like you in get the beginning, it's like yeah. So um. Yeah, and you're not really like a superhero comic type of person, so this would probably be more up your alley. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I like that. I, I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit about the book, and then we'll do an aerial view. We'll flip through it together, um, and I guess we'll keep it non-spoilers. We might as well, because a lot of people are going to probably want to read it after watching this. Okay. Anyway, our main character, is, his name is Guts. He's the Black Swordsman. He uh, walks around with a huge cloud from Final Fantasy VII, Buster Sword. Which he loves chopping people in half with. And he, we love watching it. And he drags it, and they always talk about the sword, and they say it's less of a sword and more of a hunk of iron or something like that, right? But he wields this sword, and he's dope. He knows how to use it. He, uh, he like I say, loves cutting people in half, fighting off hordes of bad guys. Each trade paperback kind of has its own main bad guy. Like, the first one has that kind of... They're all cannibals. The bad guys are always cannibals. But then he turns into, like, this snake monster. I mean, don't knock it till you try it, but... The second volume guy creeped me out. The Count, this big fat guy, and the slug comes out of his mouth. I, I thought we were doing no spoilers. How's that? That's oh, I don't spoiler. know, I guess. That's a, a spoiler mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay, all the bad guys are, like, demons. And then the big thing about Guts is that uh, he has this brand on him. And we learn that he's marked by demons. Demons are always going to haunt chase him and hunt him down and in the third trade paperback we kind of find out a little bit how and why um he pals around with this uh they call it an elf but it's really a fairy who he is portraying in the thumbnail uh it's like uh, her name is puck i guess it's a her very uh, ambiguous the, the what, gender is it androgynous yeah i guess it, it has yeah. no private parts but i say pal around but she follows him and he flicks her away he's super mean I mean, yeah, he's not really, like, gives a, really gives a shit about her. Right when you think he's about to give a shit, he straight doesn't. Yeah, he's like, if you thought I did, <laughs> just check thought. again. Yeah, like, you know, this, this like, hunchback of Notre Dame type guy is begging for his help, and he's like, yo, why would I help you? Like, you think he's going to be like, sure, I'll help you, but he's like, it's like why it's, would I help like, you? Like, how is the hero, like, such a piece of shit? He is. <laughs> but he's like, if you can't help yourself, why would I help you? Like, his whole outlook on life is pretty oh, survival like of the fittest, kind of. What's that? I said, who do I know like that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
The third volume, we find some people that Guts knows. Uh, what's the person's name? I, I don't remember. G- Gannis? Gannis? You don't remember that? I just make a mental picture of the name in my head and I just keep moving. Just keep it. It, it reminded me of Cell from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, the the second and third issues were really great. So, what about this thing? What was this thing called again? The 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 behelot. I don't, I don't know how to say it. Which is this nasty egg with like an eye and a mouth and a nose, and it's like all messed up and disfigured. I saw something online, like a little like figure of it, and it was red. Ooh. I was thinking scary. that it was white, but it's it was like on like a it was on a statue or or something. It was red. The, the count, man, like, that slug monster, it kind of, like, goes, like, uh, Akira biomass getting bigger, and you chop an arm off, and another one oh, grows yeah, out. Oh, yeah, yeah, like the Hydra. Yeah, the it, yeah. yeah, exactly. I um I loved it, though. The I last it was really page good. is a, a sick note, too. Like, it's almost like a su- it's, yeah. Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Charlie <laughs> Day's uncle kind of vibe, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, put your hands on top of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> to make it look bigger. No, not because of that, but um, man, I, I definitely enjoyed it. I don't think I'm gonna buy the trades to skip ahead. I think I'm just gonna wait for these volumes. Yeah, I like reading it like this because it's bigger. It's not like you know they have animes for this that we could watch. I th- I feel like we should read it first. I should be I could be watching instead you could of be reading. Watching this. No, is it subtitles? Because I can't. I gotta watch it dubbed. I can't watch it subbed. So um, I don't want to give spoilers though. But what can we talk about? I want. I was gonna talk I about th- the count's daughter. Yeah, I mean, that whole story, I, you, there's nothing you can, I mean, it's just... The story just, is jacked up. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good, it's If you're a wholesome up, person... It's not for you. It's not for you. Yeah. If you're a deranged person... If you're, like, anyone in the Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Gemini's group. But uh, I don't know if there's much more we can say about this book that won't spoil it, but it's, it, it, ha- it actually reads like an anime. Like, there's a lot of pages with no dialogue and just action. It's just a lot of, uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> What about how um, sometimes the art changes? Like, the first few pages will be, like, a painted style, and then it goes to, like, kind of... Cool. It's cool, man. I'm digging it. <clears throat> I'm digging it, too. Somebody commented, like, it's going to make you want to buy those Prime 1 statues. I'm like, damn. No, it's not really doing that. <laughs> it is. I, is it really? It is, man. No. The characters, like, you get invested into the characters. They have some gut statues. They have characters that we haven't shown Did up it, yet. Um, can't do it. Reviewed one. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, our boy Venom S uh, reviewed a few of them. He's into this hardcore. Mm-hmm. And I guess the anime, because people are going to tell me in the comments, there's a good one and then there's a bad one. I think like the Golden Age one or something is the good one. or One of them is the good one. But I don't plan on even watching that stuff until I read it all. I don't want to get spoiled. So, Hey, and if you've seen them, how many series are there of it? I'm trying to... I think the first one is not that much. No, no, no. I mean the the, oh, the show. The show, like how many episodes? Are That's there? what I'm saying. Is it, is it like Dragon Ball Z no. where you'll never catch up? Or I, I heard the good one is not long. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So let's flip through this together. We'll we'll recall some things. We'll show the artwork. We'll you know talk a little bit more about Berserk. But bottom line is we definitely both enjoyed it. Oh yeah, I read the whole thing in one one sitting. I could have done one, but I think it was the time of day, whatever. Yeah. And I didn't skip the first volume like this one did. I read the first volume in the different so did format. I, but you got to rehash. Yeah, I'm not going to I know I read this. it recently though. Like I read it like yeah, yeah. 2 or 3 weeks ago. I'm not going to reread this whole volume when volume 2 comes out. No. That's too much. Maybe I'll just watch this video and why would you read this whole book over again the second one comes out? I'm saying out? why would you read that's what I'm saying. That's that's, that's I, what you're saying. Okay, yeah. All right, so let's flip through this thing and take a look. Movie magic. All right, so here's the cover of Berserk. I can't stress enough how much I love how the book feels, the texture of the hardcover. This is that demonic brand that's on Guts' neck. Then you got the uh, red um, font. Is it foil? Yeah, it looks like a foil, kind of a shiny thing. Artist Kentaro Mura. He is a sick, twisted freak, and I love him. All right, so let's flip through. So this is, um, like I mentioned, red right to left, like traditional manga. Here goes Guts. Guts is always getting his ass whooped. For a strong guy, he's getting his ass whooped. He's like Rocky. He's like, he's got to get his ass whooped before he can start whooping some ass. I think it's like it fuels him. And then when I was reading this, I was like, yo, he's rolling around with this elf that can literally heal you. Can you can you use her? <laughs> so this scene is the iconic... Uh, opening scene all right people letting your children watch this you know yeah but anyway this female turns into this monster saying ha ha i got you and he's like not nah, trick i got you mm. and he kills it right so as you can see so you know what throws me off is that this 
this dialogue is part of the artwork. So they just kind of put little things here. I caught, I caught myself not reading those. I mean, most of the time, that's what it is. It's like schlomp or glam. Yeah, like that. And you just kind of figure that's what it is anyway, you know? It's like sound effects. I heard that Final Fantasy stole the Buster Sword idea from this book. This probably predates that, I would think. Mm-hmm. So you got Guts, you got Puck. Guts is like the opposite of Usagi Yojimbo. I feel like you're giving too many pages. You're doing too little. Do bigger ch- chunks? Bigger chunks. So here's a here's a page like I was talking about. No dialogue, just a big action anime scene, slicing uh, this thing in half. Yeah. This big ass sword. You know what I forgot to mention? That we get his origin in the third volume. I mean, is that a spoiler? I don't know. I mean, what what constitutes as a spoiler? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we won't spoil it, but look at him cutting this guy in half. With multiple guys in half. Why are you flipping so fast, man? Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. So, um, you get his origin, and you see how he is kind of effed up, right? Like, anybody would have going through what he went through as a kid. But he also trained to be a warrior. Very games of Game of Thrones ish kind of just real barbaric. Very barbaric. I like how Puck sits up on the behelot like it's nothing, but then it opens his eye and freaks up, freaks him out or her out. Whatever it shall be. This thing is unsettling. It is. Yes. Look at this unsettling. What about how Gus doesn't even save that guy? He just lets him get killed. <laughs> Such a bastard. This contraption is cool because it shoots crossbows like mad fast, but it also turns into a big gun as well. He even throws gunpowder in it at one point, right? And like loads it up straight musket mm-hmm. style. Mm-hmm. The, the the bad guys are also unsettling. They're, very disgusting. They're very disgusting. Hard to look you at. You can tell they're very squishy. Yes, very slimy and squishy. Straight GQ Calvin Klein looking right here. It's like, is that thing even sharp? <laughs> no, but it does what we got to do. Oh, that looks like a... Mars Attacks. Yep. That's what I was thinking, too. Yep. Mars Attacks probably stole it from this. <laughs> Surprise, Gus is getting his ass whooped. Mm, oh, and then this whole this, this whole scenario that goes down nice. is wild. Oh, we missed that one, that one crazy page. Okay. All right, that's pretty much all we're going to show you. Yeah, so if you want to see more. Magic time. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is Berserk Volume 1, the Deluxe Edition. Uh, I suggest jumping on Volume 2 fast if you own this one and you want to continue because I think it sold out, like, really quick. Really fast. Like, what was it, like, two hours? Like, really quick. Like, oh, you remember seeing that in the group? No, I just feel like that was the time. It was something like that. we just making up It was in two minutes. Up. Gone. <laughs> two seconds and it was done. Um, let us know what you think about Berserk in the comments below. You're going to anyway. People love Berserk, man. It makes them Berserk. How come I never heard of these things? I grew up... Berserk. I... <laughs> what was it? Don't you want to Berserk? <laughs> anyway. My love for you is like a truck Berserk. Uh, I, I, yeah, I think I was under a rock, man. I was just so stuck on Marvel 90s stuff that I never really branched out into this kind of material. You gotta branch, man. But look who's talking. You're not DC as... <laughs> All right, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more recent reads, more hauls, more daily content. We're bringing it to you live. We got Fee on board. She's reading stuff, too. And uh, we're going to do that husband and wife combo, man. Stay minty. Peace. Yo, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gemmin. No, I, you gotta say You gotta it say it's your girl, Fee. Oh, Come all right, on. all right. That's what I'll say. All right, all right. Yo, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. And it's your girl, Fee. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> I, was so, I was so into it. <laughs> right. BMI, I same level. Okay, not, not higher? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. You trying to make the blooper real? Yo, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. <laughs> it's your girl, Fee. Stop laughing! I can't stop laughing. So what we'll do, we'll talk a little bit about the uh, talk a little bit about that. Whoa! <laughs>